Rational Choice Theory Application Rational choice theory is a framework used to understand human behavior by assuming that individuals make decisions by weighing the costs and benefits to maximize their personal advantage. This theory assumes that people act rationally, meaning they will choose the option that provides them the most benefit with the least cost. While this concept may seem straightforward, it has been widely applied in various fields such as economics, sociology, politics, and even criminology to explain why people make certain decisions. In economics, rational choice theory is used to explain how individuals make purchasing decisions. Imagine you are in a grocery store, deciding whether to buy apples or oranges. According to rational choice theory, you will weigh factors such as price, taste, and how much you enjoy each fruit, then pick the one that gives you the most value based on your preferences. Businesses also use this concept to understand consumer behavior, adjust their marketing strategies, and offer products that appeal to the decision-making process of their target audience. For example, by understanding that consumers want to maximize their satisfaction while minimizing their costs, companies may offer discounts or promotions to encourage purchasing. In the field of sociology, rational choice theory helps explain social behaviors. For instance, when individuals engage in relationships, they often make decisions based on what they expect to gain from the relationship, whether it is emotional support, companionship, or social status. People form friendships and partnerships with others who they believe will benefit them the most in some way. This is not to say that people are always selfish, but rational choice theory provides a way to understand how and why individuals make decisions in their social interactions. Politics is another area where rational choice theory plays a significant role. Voters, politicians, and political parties often make decisions based on what they believe will give them the most benefit. Voters may decide to support a candidate who they believe will create policies that align with their personal interests, such as lowering taxes or improving health care. Politicians, on the other hand, may make strategic decisions to gain voter support, maximize their chances of winning elections, or pass legislation that aligns with their political goals. Understanding rational choice theory helps political scientists predict voter behavior and analyze political strategies. In criminology, rational choice theory helps explain why people commit crimes. The theory suggests that criminals make rational decisions by weighing the potential rewards of committing a crime against the risks and consequences, such as getting caught and punished. For example, a person might decide to commit theft if they believe the value of what they will steal is higher than the risk of getting caught. This understanding has influenced the design of policies and programs aimed at reducing crime. Law enforcement and policymakers may create harsher punishments to increase the perceived costs of committing crimes, or they may implement programs that offer better opportunities for education and employment to make crime less appealing. Rational choice theory also applies to decision-making in the workplace. Employees may decide to take on additional tasks or pursue promotions if they believe the benefits, such as higher pay or career advancement, outweigh the costs, such as extra work or longer hours. Employers, in turn, use rational choice theory to make decisions about hiring, compensation, and resource allocation. Companies aim to maximize profits while minimizing expenses, and rational choice theory provides a framework to understand these business decisions. Rational choice theory can even be seen in everyday personal decisions. Consider a person deciding whether to exercise. According to rational choice theory, they will weigh the potential benefits of exercising, such as improved health and increased energy, 
against the costs such as time spent exercising and the physical effort required. If the perceived benefits are greater than the costs, the person will likely choose to exercise. However, if the costs are too high, they may decide not to. Despite its widespread application, rational choice theory has its limitations. One major criticism is that it assumes people always make logical, well-thought-out decisions, which is not always the case in real life. Emotions, habits, and external pressures can often influence decisions in ways that are not purely rational. For example, a person may continue to smoke cigarettes even though they know it is harmful because of addiction or emotional reasons, which goes against the idea that people will always act in their best interest. Additionally, rational choice theory assumes that individuals have all the information they need to make informed decisions. However, in many situations, people may not have complete information, leading to decisions that are less than optimal. For instance, when buying a car, a person may not know all the potential maintenance costs or future fuel prices, which could affect their decision. In these cases, the theory's assumption of perfect information does not hold. Another criticism is that rational choice theory does not always account for social and cultural factors that can influence decision-making. People do not always act as isolated individuals. They are often influenced by the norms and expectations of the groups or societies they belong to. For example, in some cultures, family decisions are made collectively rather than individually, which may not align with the idea of rational, self-interested decision-making. Despite these limitations, rational choice theory remains a valuable tool for understanding and predicting behavior in a variety of contexts. It provides a framework for analyzing how individuals weigh costs and benefits in their decision-making processes and offers insights into why people behave the way they do in different situations. By recognizing the rational calculations behind choices, economists, sociologists, politicians, and criminologists can design policies and strategies that better align with human behavior. In conclusion, rational choice theory is a powerful tool for understanding human behavior in many areas of life from economics and politics to social relationships and crime. While it has its limitations, it provides a useful framework for analyzing decisions based on the calculation of costs and benefits. Whether it is a voter deciding who to support, a business setting prices, or a person deciding whether to exercise, rational choice theory helps explain the factors that influence these choices. If you found this video interesting and want to learn more about topics like rational choice theory and its applications, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content.